The Inter-American Commission on Human Rights processes petitions in three stages, initial evaluation, admissibility, and merits. In certain circumstances, the Commission may then refer the case to the court. Requests for precautionary measures are processed differently and can be decided within one week or several months, depending on the urgency and information submitted. The Commission processes petitions and requests for precautionary measures with the support of lawyers who work in its Executive Secretariat in Washington, D.C. Within a few weeks of receiving a petition, the Registry section of the Commission's Executive Secretariat sends written acknowledgement to the petitioner and assigns the petition a number. Petitions are evaluated in order of receipt unless there are particularly urgent reasons to evaluate a petition sooner, such as very young or old age or terminal illness of the victim or if it illustrates a systematic pattern of violations. The registry decides to either open the petition for processing or close the petition with no further analysis. If the information provided is insufficient, it may request additional information from the petitioner. In this stage, the Commission relies only on information submitted in writing by the petitioner to determine if the petition meets the requirements of Article 28 of the Rules of Procedure. If the petition is open for processing, the file is transferred to the section of the Executive Secretariat with responsibility for that country. The petition and evidence are sent to the state for its response, or observations, which it must submit within three months. At this point, the Commission can also help negotiate a friendly settlement between the parties. In the admissibility stage, the Commission decides whether it has competence over the matter based on where, when, and under which state's responsibility the alleged violation occurred, and it determines whether the petition meets the non-duplication, timeliness, and exhaustion requirements, and if the facts alleged tend to establish a violation of the state's human rights obligations. The commissioners consider the arguments and evidence of the state and petitioner and may hold a hearing or working meeting to gather additional information from the parties. The commission publishes its decision on admissibility and sends it to the state and petitioner. If the petition is admissible, it is given a case number and enters the merits phase. Sometimes, the commission will decide the merits at the same time as admissibility and issue only one report such as when the victim alleges a violation of due process that also prevented him or her from exhausting domestic remedies. In the merits phase, the petitioner can request financial assistance from the Legal Assistance Fund for the cost of pursuing the case. The petitioner and then the state each have four months to submit initial arguments on the merits and may submit additional information in writing or in working meetings or a public hearing before the commission. The commissioners decide whether the state is responsible for a violation of the victim's rights. If the commission finds a violation, it prepares a preliminary report and list of recommendations for how the state can repair the violation and prevent its reoccurrence. The state has three months to show it will comply with the recommendations. Otherwise, the commission either publishes the merits report or refers the case to the Inter-American Court. The Commission can refer a case to the court only if the state has accepted its jurisdiction, and after considering the opinion of the victim and petitioner, the seriousness of the violation, and the relevance of the case to the inter-American jurisprudence and the national legal systems. The court will issue judgments on the admissibility, merits, and reparations, and may hold its own hearings. After a decision on the merits, the parties report on compliance with the recommendations. Petitioners should maintain a relationship with the victim and with local organizations that can provide information and help negotiate and advocate for state compliance. Mm -hmm.